Kitchen. Well, we are here at the um, Black Rose yes. Antiques Mall in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. where they have just scores of vendors. And we've always been able to come up with really interesting stuff here. And most of it at thrift store prices. Yes. Just have to know where to look for it, but we do. Well, that's our job, showing that's you where to look job. and how to find it. <laughs> so we're gonna head in here and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit, and we'll see you in a bit. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. All right, so this is the first booth right in the door that we always take time to explore every time we stop here. And unless you guys have been with the channel a really long time, you probably haven't seen it. 25. This is 64 to 65 World's Fair. Hmm. We just sold a little one of these. So this one is 25. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. I always have to like, think more about these prices because we are at an antique shop. So the price is a little bit more. Oh, look at that. I bet you that glows. Oh my gosh, it like glows even without black light. Can you imagine with the black light? Oh, that would be so pretty. Mmm, Vaseline glass. All right. Ooh, nice little tree. Fortunately, it's missing one of its little lights there, but that one's only $39. The prices here in this booth aren't terrible. I feel like if I was buying for myself, I would totally jump on these prices, not gonna lie. No, that's really correct. Yeah, oh yes. These, these are good prices. They are good prices. For retail. Yeah, they're they're reasonable prices. They I are. mean, they're just, they're not reasonable enough that I can make a profit, but they're reasonable for somebody who wants this stuff, you know? Or if you were inclined to sell your things at top of the market prices, you know, yeah. You might do well. Yes, yes. But yes. I like it. I like this booth. Oh, hello. I feel like there, if there was a discount in here, I might go a little crazy. However, there's no. What have you found? Okay. This is a nice set of Narutaki cream and sugar. Very pretty. Actually, I don't believe it's a set no, if you I don't look think at so it. Either. It doesn't appear to be a set. The thing is, it's nineteen dollars and change. Well, that's about, what which is about yeah. what retail on this would be. Yes. They're very pretty, and that's nice. Oh yes, there's a lot of nice stuff to put that. Bird. There are. Oh, I'm loving that bird, the pink parrot. Oh, how much? Oh, I'm wondering if I should get him for resale. Um, is that, let me just, does he have a bobo? Let me just check. No, that's not a boo boo. For nine bucks, I feel like I could do okay with it. I do too. Because usually we get a, you know, about nine dollars for a little itty bitty figurines, and he's a big figurine, and he's a bird. I think I he's love nice. Birds. All right, I'm gonna go put him in your cart. <laughs> I think we'll just resolve. Yeah, okay, this right it's now. been resolved. Digging that lamp. 189. Yeah, well, you know, that's about right. And honestly, I wouldn't want to be the one to shoot that. Action! Alright, these are exactly the kind of Barbies you never, ever, ever want to buy. You go on eBay right now. See this one? $30. You can probably pick her up for $10. Probably less. Because you can't give these things away. They have no appreciable value. 
Um, Unless they're vintage, vintage. Well, this type of doll. <laughs> the collector's edition. Yes. No value. Well, look at this. We've got two identical dolls right here. You know, I want $50 for this doll. No, please. That one's 16 and that one's 50 Oh, go figure. I don't understand. I don't either. Um, this is just not what people talk about when they talk about collectible Barbies. A $13 elephant. He's not ceramic, though. No, he isn't. He's resin. Throw him back. We don't want him. I do see the owl. Some really pretty carnival glass tumblers. Ooh, we've got some bittersweet glass back there. I've got that one at home. <laughs> Okay, well, I had just about dismissed this booth, but as I was walking by, I happened to spot something pretty cool. And actually, we highlighted this exact piece in a video, maybe two, three videos ago. It's this right here. Now you guys may be like, oh, we know what that is. I had purchased one in green matte, and then we had seen one in blue. Um, this one is another one in blue. It is made by Brush McCoy. Oh. And it is a matte glaze. Unfortunately, it does have a few issues here. But for only $7, and it's actually 20% off. I feel like the issues aren't, you know, and they might even be manufactured. Because if you look, unless they did a really good cover-up. I can't really tell, honestly. If I can't tell, that's a good thing. That's how I feel. Um, so anyway, this is Brush McCoy. It sells for $35 to $45 unmarked that's why most people miss it we will grab it for seven and twenty percent off all right so i just spotted another piece well two pieces on this shelf that i thought you know what i kind of like those and i really like them for 4.95 for the pair it is a sugar bowl and a pitcher there is some crazing but as you guys know i personally don't mind crazing. There are a lot of collectors that will not go anywhere near crazing. Um, so that's important to note when you're buying this stuff is sometimes um, you have to take in consideration if it's, if it's a very valuable piece and it has crazing, you have to consider that it's gonna affect the value. But for these guys, they're not super valuable. They're just really cool to look at. And for 4.95, I'm gonna grab them. We have found the booth of glass. Lots and lots and lots of depression glass. Some other goodies sprinkled in here. I'm just looking to see if I spot anything I like. Hmm. I'm not really seeing much though. That guy's kind of fun. Um, you know, once I get my kitchen reasonably cleaned out again, mm -hmm. we have to go shopping for crystal or glassware. Okay, it just to my arm. To me, I could, you know, if the queen came to dinner, my dishes and my silver wouldn't embarrass me. <laughs> but I think the paper cups might be a problem. Oh my goodness. I like that. We're on a glass oh. bowl. Oh, $6.99 for that bowl. That's pretty. That is really pretty. Well, it's an ashtray, right? Yeah, it's, yes. it's, and it's 20% uh, off. Oh, cool. It's actually kind of pretty and simple. And over there. Oh, there are spaghettis in there. Hmm. $16.99, though. Is it? Uh, yeah, a bit too much for retail. Here is the top. The, this is the top to a carnival cane. <sighs> Interesting. They're usually made in occupied Japan. I can't really see the tag. It's one of those that's flipped over. And I'm not going to put that much effort into it. Okay, so what did you find? Well, these are both Japanese pieces. They're both lusterware. Uh, this one is $2.50. It's a nice little sort of celery tray, which is a great bargain. Oh, and it's 20% off. Mm. This bowl is just I freaking magnificent. That. And I was just telling Sue that I've seen this somewhere else recently. And maybe I filmed it, I don't know. But I, I saw that exact bowl somewhere else recently and I remember the price was just too much. But I just can't remember where it was. But I, I think it's beautiful. Well, this is nine ninety five. Yes, do and it. 
The gilding is a little worn, but no big deal. <laughs> I love it. Um, this is unusual for a Japanese piece, the design. But yeah. I like it. Hello. Hello. Okay, German. Oh. Very interesting German luster wear. Look at that. It is pretty. All right, you stay here. <laughs> I'll show you these guys in a second. Let's see what the condition is on this. And the price. Well, it's coming home with me because the price oh, is $5.95. Yeah. Yes, the price is German right. German luster wear. Absolutely. A large bowl. It looks like we've got five little bowls. So far, they all seem to be in good condition. Yeah. I say yes. Oh, do it. yeah. Do it. Do it. I'm going to check this guy out. What does it say? University of the Sciences. Okay. Something. Maybe not. I'm um, going to pass on that one. $1.95 check luster wear. And you can often tell these European pieces they had open sugar bowls without lids mm. so it's just this is your sugar this is your creamer and it's a two-piece set whereas we are more used to three-piece sets yes um and dollar 95 these are thrift store prices yeah they are i like this little booth this is my kind of booth i spotted it it's in here down here. Look, here it is. Oh my gosh. Is that not the cutest puppy figurine in the whole wide world? For five dollars? Hmm. Is that a repair? Can't tell. I think it's just schmutz. Oh, you know what? I think the paint, the paint must have chipped and they touched it up front of him is perfectly fine. I like him for five dollars. Oh, pretty puppy. Isn't he the cutest? He is. Yes, please. I, I like his design. He's, he's cute. Let's stick him in there. Salt and pepper penguins. Oh, it's a bullseye glass. I love that. It's really pretty. Had some damage, yeah. which probably explains the price, but still. It's very pretty, I like. Yeah. Ooh, got some Mary Gregory plates for 30 bucks a piece. I think we sold ours for like 20 a piece. <laughs> Look in this booth. There's lots of goodies in here. Lots and lots of goodies. Let's see if we can find it. There's lots of good stuff in here, but I'd love to find something that we can flip. Oh, Sue's so found something. Some pepper shakers. Yes. How much do they want for? Eight dollars. That's the high end of this, but these are good salt mm -hmm. and pepper shakers. And do we have a sale? Fifteen percent off. So yeah. it's not quite as painful. Eight dollars. Like I say, high end of this, but they're worth it. Absolutely. Oh my goodness! Look at these little cuties. Now they are marked with a Made in Japan sticker. But oh my gosh, look. I don't know if that makes them little salts. Or if they're just little marmalades. I don't know. They are just the cutest. Look at that big smile. I feel like we need them. All right, we're going to explore a little deeper into this booth because of those cute little bees we just got. Let's see what else we can find in here. I feel like the little bees are just enticing enough to say, come into this booth and see what you can find. And here we are. Got some flow blue over there. Very pretty. 
clear glass. There is a nice centerpiece, unfortunately. We've got a boo-boo up here and uh, that's just not gonna do it for us. Hmm. I like that. That's a nice piece. And it's only nine dollars. It's got some shiny on it. We get in Japan. I think we're gonna go with that. Alright, I'm kind of feeling this salt and pepper pear for $4.50. They're just very dainty and small and they look like little rosebuds. I like that. And I think $4.50 is a good price because I know I can at least double my money on those. So we're going to grab those. What is it? A ridiculously overpriced ginger jar. Look at that. Um, that is $18. Small oriental ginger jar. We don't even have a marking. We've got Ooh. a crack. Well, I'm sure that goes right through, and I'm sure it's been repaired. Um, it's more modern to me. It is. There's no question about that. $18. So this is an, just a an example of what not to buy <laughs> you see this you walk away i got a few good things out of this booth though i will say oh, really? i did yeah all right well let me shove you back and peek in your cart wow. like this oh let's go see this <laughs> for nine dollars oh pretty for nine. Oh, it's lovely. Mm. I mean, it's not terribly old, but I, no, but I like it's, it. I like it's the nice. I like it's, the florals. That's a good piece. It's pretty nice. I think you're right. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.